Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how your students can use GMath for Forms to reply to questions you've created in your Google Forms. So let's go ahead and get started here. In the Add-ons menu, I already have GMath for Forms installed. If you don't already have it, you can go to Get Add-ons and then search for GMath for Forms and add it in. Let's go ahead and deploy this GMath for responses to this form. We'll hit deploy. And now my students will be able to reply to any questions using this deployed URL. We don't want to send them to the view live form. If we go to view live form, this is all they'll see. Instead, we're going to go to deploy URL. And now students can go ahead and use any of these tools to create an expression, a graph, statistical display, or even do a handwriting entry, which I think is really neat. So let's hit continue here. And we'll say handwriting entry and continue. Right. Now you can see they can draw in here if they wanted to do some handwriting. And then down at the bottom, they'll submit the response. If they wanted to use something else, let's say we wanted to create a graph, again, we'll have to authorize that and accept. They can create a graph using all the tools here and then submit the responses over here on the left hand side. So that's a short overview of GMath for forms from the student perspective. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.